Hello, my friends. My name is Dadcraft73, and welcome back to another episode of our One Block Sky Block Let's Play series. Oh, man, I hope you're having a good day. Hope you're taking care of yourself, and you're doing all right. That is for sure and for certain. Listen, as you can see in my inventory, I have 21 slime balls. That's because my mob, or not my mob farm, my um, spawning area over here, this place right here, is a slime chunk, evidently. I just logged into the world after being, I was AFK a whole bunch uh, the last day or so over there trying to get all the string that we needed. And I just logged back into the world and lo and behold, there were like 10 slimes jumping around in here. So we got some slime balls, which is pretty sweet. I guess we can figure something out to do with those. I do want to show you what we've got going on because today is the day. Today is going to be Iron Farm Day. Those are the words I'm trying to say. Man, I'm a genius. Good grief. We're going to see if we can't get an iron farm fired up along with some villagers. We're going to get the villagers. Uh, they'll be awesome. And then we'll be able to do some trading with them. I'm thinking maybe... Hmm. I'm not sure exactly how we want to do the villagers. I'm not sure how we're going to do the iron farm. I'm not sure of a whole bunch of things. But we're going to figure out all of that together in today's episode because I have one, two, three, almost four stacks of string. I think this is going to be enough. I think we're going to get really close. By the way, you'll notice that these um, these stairs that we had right there are no longer there. One of them burned up in the thing. The other one I was able to get. I broke those because I was having witches spawn in the farm and they were falling down drinking fire resistance potions and uh, just living there. They were just hanging out. They were impacting my rates a little bit, but we, saw, we also got uh, over five or four stack, almost four stacks of gunpowder. We've got a bunch of rotten flesh. Maybe we can get a cleric or something like that going on. We can burn some of that for some easy emeralds. I'm pretty happy overall with how our mob farm performed. Now, the only thing we need to do, let's go in here. Let's see how much wool this makes. It makes exactly 60 wool. That's exactly how many we need to make 20 beds. All right, we're gonna do that in just a second. Let's see, uh, wood, wood, uh, wood. All right, we probably need to go chop down this big tree. I guess we'll do that. And then as we're doing that, we'll chit chat about what we're gonna be working on today. So my idea is we want ourselves an iron farm. I don't know exactly where the iron farm is gonna be. It's probably going to be maybe over here somewhere. We may have to grind out a little bit more uh, cobblestone to build the initial thing. I think it's gonna be over there somewhere. I think that'll be good. Um, we're just going to do something kind of small. I want to say, like, I, I want to try to get away with something pretty small. We're going to see how small of an area we can compact all of the beds in that we need. We need 20 beds so we can have 20 villagers. And then with those 20 villagers, we can spawn golems, like two, uh, two at a time or whatever it works out to be. But I want to try to compact it as small as possible because I don't need a lot of footprint. I just need the ability to have uh, villagers running around over there. I also don't care too much about like a super organized like trading hall situation. I mean, maybe we could do something. We could do something like like that, I bet. And have sort of like a trading hall. Let's see. We could have like this palisade house or whatever. That's what I called it. I don't know if that's what it is. I mean, maybe we could do something like this. Let me um let me figure that out. So I'm gonna do a couple things on my side. First and foremost, I need to grind out some more cobblestone. I'm a little cobblestone poor after building all of that up there. I'm gonna get some cobblestone taken care of. Then we'll build a little platform out there, and I'll have a plan on how we're gonna build this mob farm. Sound like a deal? Okay, I'll see you in just a second. So originally I was going to do like a combo farm, like a fa an iron farm and a trading hall all at one time. Because it kind of made sense, right? Or it does make sense. If you have villagers and they're doing villager things and they're producing iron for you, then it would be a shame to sort of waste those villagers. But I think what I'm going to do, I've got 23 spawn eggs for villagers. So I'm going to use 20 of them to make the iron farm. We could probably use a little bit less we could feed them uh, something uh, like potatoes or something like that, and they could breed. But I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to do 20 villagers in there. We'll have a couple left over. And if we need to multiply them, that's not the end of the world. Uh, we have seat 23. And we can also get more by grinding uh, the one block. I don't even know if we have any more in here. Do we? Uh, no, which is fine. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to build just a very small, compact iron farm 
uh, over there on that platform. And then somewhere else, probably over there by the end portal, we're going to build like a little mini trading hall. Well, we'll just have a couple beds over there for the villagers to do what they need to. Just, just very simple. Not trying to make some sort of crazy iron farm deal. So... I've got a couple things. So the other issue that I was running into is normally when you make a uh, starter like iron farm, you use fletching tables. Well, that requires flint and we are a little on the short side when it comes to flint, as in we have zero. <laughs> and I've just got a couple pieces of gravel. There's two pieces there and there's one piece out there. So we have three pieces of gravel total. So we can't use a fletching table. So I think what we're going to do instead is I went over and I've been hanging out AFK at the mob farm. I got a bunch more string and we're going to make ourselves looms and we're going to use those to generate our villagers. Sound like a plan? I think it does. Dadcraft, you're the smartest. I know. It's just a, a curse that I have. Um, I'm not making this a too wide walkway yet because we're going to tear most of this down and we'll replace it with leaves whenever we get to that point. We're going to use those kind of leaves because we don't want any blocks that golems can spawn on near the farm. The idea is to make them spawn up uh, in the top of this thing. So we've got a 7x7 seven seven platform right here. We're going to put a block in each corner like so that we're eventually going to use to build up with like that and then we are going to put down a crafting table uh, we can put it down actually don't we should do first before we do any of this stuff is fix our inventory a little bit it's a little out of control i mean i know that's sort of like how it usually works with us we're going to use a uh, cobblestone i mean that's just what we have the most of let's just put uh, we'll keep that we don't need that or that or that or that uh here we have some building blocks we don't need that uh, or that, I guess. And then we also don't need this, this, this. We do need the string. And we can put this over here and this over there. That should help us out a little bit, at least for now. And we don't need this slime. We'll put that over there as well. And now we've got food that we can eat. We don't need these buckets. Not least yet. We're going to need to get some water at some point. Hmm. Yeah, we have to make an infinite water source. I mean, we oh, I've got places to get water. It's fine. Don't worry. We've got water stored, and then we'll use some of that. Okay, so now we've got our inventory cleared out a little bit. Let's go back over here. So we've got this 7x7 seven seven platform, and we've got a block in each corner. Let's put this down right here, and we're going to start making some beds. Uh, let's see. We need... This is will be an okay start. Okay, there's 13 beds. All right, we're going to start this thing. We're going to put a bed here, and then we're going to put a bed here. Okay? We're going to put a bed here, and we're going to put a bed here. Then we're going to put a bed there. Put a bed here. And then finally, a bed right here. And then a bed like so. Okay, we have to move our crafting bench because we're about to fill up the center of this thing. Let's put our crafting bench over here. All right, so now we're going to take beds and go one, two, three, four, five. How many beds do we have left? We got to make some more. Okay. All right, uh, let's get some more of these. And we'll make seven more bits. Okay. So we have five this way. Then we're going to go over here. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then here we're going to do a bed and a bed. So we've got that set up right there. So we've got sort of like this, this deal where we've got uh, beds all around and a gap in the middle like that. And in the middle, we're just going to put a torch because we do not want any mobs to spawn down here, if at all possible. So now we're just going to cover up all of these beds. And we're going to build like a, a second platform up here. This is my plan, at least. I hope this works. I sort of looked at a tutorial. We're going a little bit off script, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it works. Let's go like this. Okay. And then we'll just fill in all of these like so. Okay, perfect. So now we've got this. All right. 
So now I need to make 20 looms and we're gonna put those looms up here, okay? So let me see, how do I, can I reach that crafting bench? I can. So let's go and make a bunch more of these. How many looms can I make? 24, that's more than I need, but we'll make them all just because we weren't paying attention. And we're gonna go like one, two, three, and then maybe like one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five over here. One, two, three, four, five over here. Yeah, this should work. And then we'll do, we'll do one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. We have four more now. So maybe we'll go like this and like this. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna go around the outside here and build this up. Like so, okay. Okay, and I think we're gonna go up one more just so all of our looms are actually covered. And if you haven't figured out, the villagers are gonna go inside there and hopefully they can reach those looms on the ceiling. I'm pretty sure, or on the wall there. I'm pretty sure they can. I think they can reach one up. There we go, boom. All right, so the idea is that the villagers are gonna be living in here. The beds are gonna be low, and the beds are gonna be low enough for them to like reach, but they're not gonna be able to sleep. They can't go through the floor to sleep, I hope, okay? And then up here, the villagers are gonna be living in here. We're gonna put down a torch right in the middle. We'll probably put down a couple more torch torches just to make sure that nothing can spawn in here, because if we get like a zombie or something to spawn in there, it's uh, literally game over. Okay, so we have that. That should be uh, good, I believe. And now, and I think if we do like a just a too high wall like that, we're gonna put all of our villagers in there. So let me go get my villager spawn eggs. We're gonna put those in there, and I think we're gonna be pretty pretty close to getting to have some golems to spawn. I'm pretty sure. I guess we'll find out together here in just a second. Let's jump down here. Let's um bring that with us. Okay, let's go get, let's verify with one, is it getting to be nighttime? Mm, not quite, but let's see what happens. So we should be able to get, let's just get a couple of these, like one, two, three, uh, four, five of those, maybe six, that's fine. Let's head back over here. And we'll climb back up. Okay, and then we'll put these. Okay, and it looks like they're all getting on beds. That's cool, one, two, three, four, five. So we have all of those guys, we got six, I guess. So they they should be fine. We need to wait probably until nighttime because if they can sleep in those beds, it's gonna be game over for us because we're gonna lose all of our villagers. So maybe we should hang out for a little bit until nighttime. I don't think any mobs can spawn over here. We'll put some extra torches up. I think we're gonna build what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this and we're gonna close these guys in. Let's not close them all in just yet. Let's just build it like that and we'll put some torches up here because this is where the goms are gonna spawn, I believe. I believe that's the plan. We're gonna make like a wall up here and then we're gonna feed them into like a lava blade or something like that and then it's gonna be game over for all of the uh, villagers. So let me just leave that like that for just a second. Uh, I'm gonna wait until it's nighttime. We'll come back over here. We'll make sure that they cannot physically get in the beds I'm also going to make some shears really quick and grab some of those leaves because we're about to have golems spawning. And I'd prefer if the golems did not spawn on this platform right here. Let's put an extra torch down to make sure nothing can spawn because we're going to be waiting until nighttime. Let me chop this tree down and get a bunch of leaves because we're going to need them for a couple different things to make sure that we don't have golems spawning where we don't want them. We've got to figure out our whole water collection system. we got to figure out a way to... Uh, you know, grind up the golems, it's gonna be amazing. I'll see you in just a second. Okay, it's nighttime. I think we'll be able to go over here and verify, but I don't think any of the villagers are in there sleeping. I've got the rest of my spawn eggs. So let's figure out if this is gonna actually work. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be amazing. Let's get up here like so. Yeah, so they can't get into a bed. They can like uh, attach themselves to a bed, but they can't physically, I didn't get any, um, uh, uh, leaves yet. I was messing around looking at stuff. So anyway, I, they can't get into a bed. So we're going to put the rest of our guys in here. That's a nitwit. That's a problem. We're going to have to go in there and remove him. 
Okay, we can't use any of the green ones. We've got, they all have to be, that's a baby. Okay, that's a guy. There's another nitwit. Two nitwits. Okay. It's going to be a little difficult to kill them with all of these villagers around here, but that's what we're going to have to do. There's also a cat in there, which is not great. Let's get down in here really quick. Hmm. Okay, that guy's dead. Where's the other one? Okay. Okay, now we just need to get out of here. Okay. Oh, that's another nitwit. Dang it. Okay, let's go back in here. Where'd he go? No, what guy? Oh, he's over here hide, hiding. You're dead now forever. <laughs> All right. Uh, please, let me stack up here really quick. Okay. So we do have a couple extra. We have. We need. Uh, see, please. Okay. That. Okay. So now all we need to do. So they can't sleep in that bed. So before we do anything else, let me just put another torch here to make sure. Let's go back over to our base here. And I think we've got a bunch of, oh, there's, yeah, slime spawning over there with our cows. I think we have some, yes, one, two, that's probably going to be enough. Let's see, that's going to make how much, how much bread? Six bread? We're going to need more bread than that. Let's get this, and then we'll go like this, and we'll make 12 bread. Okay, let's sleep through the night now. Now that we know that our villagers can't go down in there, I think we're going to be in good shape. Let's head back over. We need to make some new villagers. They're all working on the looms. Did you guys hear? Okay. Okay, hopefully we'll get some new babies in there in just a second, and then we're going to fill up the rest of this. I don't know how to tell if we have all the babies that we need. There's a new, there's two new babies. We need three babies. Oh, okay. Yeah, is there four? Yeah, I think we're good there. We have one, two, three babies. Okay, hopefully that's enough. Oh, we have iron golems up here. So yeah, the farm is now working. This is exactly where we wanted our iron golems to spawn, just not quite yet. So we're gonna take these guys. These guys are gonna have to unfortunately go into the void. Okay, they're gone forever. All right, now we're gonna go here on the outside, one block out. And we're going to build a ring. This is going to be our, like, kill chamber. Let's go all the way around. Two high walls what we're going to end up building. I love the fact that that worked immediately. <laughs> yeah, boy. Professional Minecrafters. All right. So the idea is we want this just to be an iron farm. We don't need anything else out of this farm except for iron at the moment. Uh, then we're just going to connect these like so. We have more... Yeah, and we want to take the corners out. We don't want this corner, this corner, that corner, or this corner. And then we're going to go up another block. Oops. Oops. Okay. I should have brought a hopper with me. I didn't. I'm going to have to get some leaves anyway. Let's go do that now. Get out of here, cat. Okay. Okay. Who knows where we're going to get golems, like right there, spawning. Yep, that's okay. We're going to fix that here in just a second. Let's, let's actually fix that right now. We're kind of building this farm in real time, which is kind of cool. I'm down with that. Yeah, he can stand over there. Hopefully he'll stop other things from spawning. Let's just get up here. I don't think we need to worry about cats. I mean, if they're spawning, whatever. Hopefully, we'll be able to collect those. Let's just get up here. All right. 
let's grab all of this wood. And now what the plan is was going to be is we're going to shear a bunch of leaves and we're going to use leaves to stop stop the golems from spawning where we don't want them to spawn. Let's get up here like so. Get all the way to the top. I don't know how many leaves we actually need. We don't need that many. Okay. Almost done. This is a monster tree. We're getting tons of spruce wood out of this, which is awesome. We have to be a little careful that we don't lose all of the saplings. Okay. Let's just start going down. Okay, then let's use this. That's probably going to be enough for what we need. I need these to despawn while I'm standing on. It's going to be game over for us. Okay. How many is that? Do we have a stack? 56? There's probably some more on the ground. Here's a couple. Let's grab those. I mean, that's got to be close to a stack. That's probably going to be all that we'll need, but we'll see if we end up needing more. I really need to get saplings out of this tree as well. There's a couple on the ground already. There's some extra leaves down here, too. There's saplings. Awesome. Okay. Let's grab those leaves. Let's grab these saplings. There's another leaf there. There's a sapling there. Maybe we could go in here and get it really quick. There we have our four saplings. That's all we really cared about. We have a total of nine. Now we can plant this. Okay. And I think we have enough leaves for what we need. Perfect. Okay. That should be fine. All right, so now that we have all of this, we have to put in, like, the kill chamber. I have to get rid of this golem in just a second. But, oh, uh, yeah, this will work. Okay. He is going to go there. Okay. All right. Uh, so kill chamber is going to be on... Oh, you know what we need? One more thing before we do our kill chamber. Man, we get so many saplings out of those trees. I don't. We don't need any more. We'll just let them despawn. Uh, we have to make really quick a hopper, and we need to grab some chests. So let's do this. Let's see where are our chests. We've got them right there. Let's make a hopper. Just one. That's all we need. Okay. <laughs> And we're going to make our collection site right here on the front. Right there on the front. So let's uh, knock out this block. And we're going to replace this block with a chest. A stair, yep, a chest like that. That'll work. So we'll be able to come right over here and maybe it will just pick them up like this. Okay. Can I make this like a... right here in the center. Oh my goodness, can I not just place another chest there? There we go, that's what I need, right there, okay. Then we'll climb up. I'm gonna go right here in the center. And we're gonna knock out this block there and then we're gonna put that. Okay, so this is where our golems are going to die. Okay, so at least the idea. All right, so now what I want to do is I need to get signs, and I've got a sign here. I'll get a sign. Hello? Please, please, golems. I know you don't like what's going on here. I'm going to put a sign there and a sign there. And then we're going to put a temporary block right here, like so. And then we're going to put a fence gate here. We're going to open that fence gate. We're going to close that. And then this is where our lava is going to go. Like so. That guy's dead already. And then we're going to put a block here and a block here. And this is going to have water like there going to have water here. 
Did that burn up my sign? Okay. Oh, I didn't know that, that was a thing. Did that burn up the fence gate? Doesn't make sense. Here, let me grab this out there really quick. I burned up my fence gate? Ah, oh, I'm on fire. Huh. Okay. I did not expect that to be a thing. That's okay. What we'll do is we'll just make really quickly. Okay, let's get up here. Let's make ourselves a crafting bench really quick. Like so. And then... A couple more signs. Is three going to be enough? Yes. Okay. I should pick up this water. I'm not fighting it. Okay. Now we're going to put a sign here. Put a sign here. And put a sign in the middle. Like that. That should work. Now let's see if our lava sits in there. Yep. Now our lava will sit in there just like we want to. All right, the fence gate was a good idea, but that doesn't work, I guess. It burns up. Now we'll put our water in like so, and this should drive all of the golems in there. They'll burn up in the lava. I know it's super loud. And then we should be good to go. The only other thing I want to do, just to make sure we don't have any problems, is we're going to cover the top of this farm area. leaves and this is evidently going to have to be something else that can't be spawned on it's really strange these lava mechanics let's get some slabs We'll put slabs up here. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I mean, I guess technically we could run slabs all around the top. I don't know if that... I mean, maybe that'll stop cats from spawning. I don't know. Maybe that's going to be enough right there. Now I think our iron farm is complete with one exception. We have to do one more thing. Yeah. Uh, this block here, okay, just have to be a little careful here, we don't want to cause any problems. This block here just needs to be like that. Okay, let's just make sure that that didn't break anything. It did. this back out of here. Oh, it broke the, the sign. Man, it is always something. It's always something going on here. Uh, let's put this here for a second. We got to make some more signs. As you can see, I'm super professional Minecrafter. Okay, there's that. Now, this can go... This can go. We just need to get out of here now. Put this there. Break this. Break that. Okay, there we go. Now this can go back here. Perfect. Okay, there we go. And then we'll just need to get rid of this. And then we should be able to open our chest now. Yeah, we do. All right, we already have a bunch of iron. Let me get all these resources from there. A little bit of string from some cats. Don't worry about that. And then we can go down. OK. 
Okay, making more iron. Perfect. Just like that. That's awesome. I don't think mobs can spawn on a chest, but let's just to be sure, we'll put up here. Put a couple leaves. Leaf block up there on top of that, just to make sure we're okay from that perspective. Then we want to pick up this. And let's dig up some of these. And we'll go like that. As long as we can come over here and get to that. Perfect. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Then all we have to do is now get rid of all of these. No, we're going to lose them to the void, but that's okay. I think we can put a torch. Okay, can't put a torch there. That's fine. I mean, I don't think we do we really even need a torch. Okay, I'll do it like that. Nothing can spawn. No mobs can spawn on there, right? So that should be fine. Nothing can spawn up there, so it should be completely spawn proof. And all we'll do is we'll come in here and just rake in the iron. I love that. We may have to build ourselves like a little AFK area. I mean, maybe we'll need to do that because we're not going to have it loaded all the time. But still, we've already got 27 iron. We got a couple poppies in just a few minutes of work. Love that. So this iron farm is fully operational. That didn't even take long. And we built most of it live on the in the video. So we didn't even have to do any cuts just to grab some materials here and there. Let's uh, dig out this really quick. Okay, and then we'll just extend this. Working like a dream. So I think what I would want to do before we end this episode is... Uh, well, I was going to go AFK for a little while, but I don't think we really need to. I think we just know that this iron farm is going to be working like a dream, and we're going to be raking in iron. It's super simple to build. It's only a seven, I guess it's really like a, uh, ends up being like a nine by nine footprint uh, with a, a five by five interior footprint and then the water up there. But look, this thing's working like a dream. We're raking it in. Oh, yes. I don't know. Now, one question that I would like to answer, maybe is if I grab all this stuff out of here, and I grab that out too, and if I go over here, and I'm just working around the base, let's say, maybe we'll sleep through the night really quick. If I'm just working around the base, am I gonna still get mobs spawning in there? I think the answer is yes, but we're gonna find out together. Let's just wait a couple seconds, and then we just gotta figure out where we're gonna build our trading hall. We're gonna have to probably grind for some more spawn eggs. I mean, that's not a big deal. I could do that whenever. Just sit there and knock those blocks out for a little while and get a couple more spawn eggs, just to be sure. Uh, we've got all of that. So I think this is gonna be good enough. Let's extend this walkway out to here. I don't know what distance we, or how close we have to be to the farm for it to actually be operational. We're gonna try that and see. See if that's going to work. I don't think we can have any golems spawning out that far. I think we've got leaves out far enough that that's not going to be a problem. Let's just go over here and verify. Okay, no iron in there yet. It might not It might not work with us being this close. Maybe somebody can leave a comment and let me know. But anyway, iron farm is complete. If I need to make a little AFK area, I'll certainly do that. We'll just make a little leaf box and just stand out there and get all the iron we need. That's not a problem whatsoever. That's going to be amazing. Listen, thank you so much for watching this episode of our One Block Sky Block Let's Play series. I appreciate all the support on this series that you guys have been given. You've been amazing. Thank you so much for all your comments and for all of you that have hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, please remember to be cool, don't be a fool, and from my One Block Sky Block Let's Play series, where Simple Iron Farm complete. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Man, I want unlimited iron. I think I'm going to AFK right now. Yeah. <laughs>